YouTube, this is Techie Jess coming at you on my fourth Q&A. So guys, how was your week? Has it been going well? I hope so. Mine has been pretty good. Gotten a lot of drawings done, a lot of videos done, um, getting prepped up for the following weeks and whatnot. Uh, for me personally, it's been nice to have somewhat of a week off. Kind of, somewhat, sort of. I have a lot of homework. But without further ado, let's get into the first question. Can't you afford real beats? All right, I'm going to try and answer this question with the most respect possible because literally I've recorded this video now about 20 times just on this one answer. And a couple of them I'm going on for a significant amount of time. This question is an example of how phrasing something can come off way more rude than what you really expect it to. In this case, the one word that's changing this whole entire sentence is can't. Can't you afford real beats? Like, I should be able to afford them. Like, I should have that kind of money. That's rude, guys. For me, that's that's not the way to ask a question. But nonetheless, I'm going to try and answer it the best I can. Just know that that's what I'm referring to when I say ignorance or or just bad language, bad questions. Like, that's not a question I prefer. But actually, I didn't have a lot of questions this week. So this is the only question or one of the only questions I got. So I got to answer it. Um, yeah, if you can, if you're looking at it in my personal state of where I am financially and the fact that I am a student and I still live at home with my dad and with my family, yeah, I have that money. I can go out and I can go out and buy a 400 to $600 pair of headphones. I can, but I'd be out $600, $600. That's the equivalent of an iPad. That's the equivalent of like a middle PC. That's the equivalent of tons of computer components. Um, for me, it's not worth it. It's not, those headphones aren't worth 600, 400 to $600. They aren't. Um, you can debate me. You can do whatever you, you choose to do, but they aren't. The price that they're being sold at as fake headphones, they are justified perfectly. They sound at that level. If Beats by Dre or Monster was selling those headphones at that price tag, they would take over the world, honest to God, because that is a decent price point for those headphones. If you look at it from another point of view, I'm 21 years old. So theoretically, let's just say I didn't go to school and I wasn't in college. And I was I had a part time job or a full time job. And I was trying to get myself through life living in an apartment, like a box, a box of an, of an apartment because of where I live in in Canada. It's very expensive here. So I would probably only be able to afford maximum a tiny shit ass, sorry about my language, apartment that is literally like you move over and your ass knocks over like like a light or something, okay? It would be like $1,200 a month. Plus I have to pay for food. Plus I'd have to figure out transportation depending on where my job was. Do you honestly think the main thing I'd be thinking about is buying a $400 to $600 pair of headphones? No! No, that would be the last thing on my mind, guys. The last thing. I would be trying to figure out how I was going to get from point A to point B healthy. That would be from point A to point B, somewhat saving money so I can go somewhere one day or I can make something of myself. I would not be worrying about that. And the thing is, is I've been getting a lot of questions, actually, not even questions, just rude comments about headphones on like some of my fake Beats by Dre reviews saying you you poor ass blah 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 you can't afford this blah 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 only poor people buy fake headphones that's ridiculous and first of all don't be commenting on my videos about how rich you are when you only have a video on your channel one video on your channel of you and your parents are sneaking into the garage of one of your parents house and revving up a Porsche engine in the car when you shouldn't even be in it don't be calling me poor when you're clearly saying you're rich because your parents are. That has nothing to do with your personal wealth whatsoever, nor does it give you a right to say that other people are poor. Just because we're being smart and we're going about it a different way than you are and actually looking at a different way of spending our money rather than going out, buying the real thing when the fake thing is exactly the same and when we could put that money towards other things. That is my personal opinion. So really, can I afford it? Yes. Would I, do I think it's smart to go and buy them? No. What is your take on the HTC Sensation XE with Beats Audio? 
really use Android. I've never used an HTC phone. I've never used anything like that. So I don't have a direct opinion on the, the phone itself. I don't know what the build is like. I don't know anything like that. But I can judge Android because I have used Android a little bit. And for me, Android is, I don't like Android. Like I used it, I picked it up, tried to use it. I was like, yeah, pff, put it back down. I have no interest really in Android personally. I prefer iOS, but that is me personally. That doesn't mean that you guys can't go out and use Android. In terms of them having Beats Audio, I think that's great, but they have to have a better music interface because right now Android's um, iPod situation type thing or their iPod equivalent is not great. It is very difficult to navigate through. I don't like it. I would not use it. Personally, if I had an Android phone, I would probably have an iPod Touch. That's what I would have. So right now with my phone, I have that integrated into my iPhone 4. I don't need that. I don't need an iPod. I have one. So for me, it's cool. They're putting Beats Audio into it, so the sound is going to be better, but their music interface sucks. So what are you really going to use the Beats Audio output for? You know what I mean? Kind of, somewhat, sort of? Hopefully that makes sense. And I want you guys to know I'm not hating on HTC because HTC, if you actually look at their phones and pick up their phones, they are so pretty. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. I love the camera. It's just Android, me and Android, oil and water right now, guys. I don't really like Android. Did you sell your MacBook Pro to get the MacBook Air that replaced it in the newest desk tour? My MacBook Pro, actually, I did not sell it. It's upstairs with my bro. Um, he's using the computer. He was sporting a MacBook, a black MacBook from like 2006 around there, um, which was a great computer, but it was time for him to upgrade. He wanted a bigger screen, and this just came at a really good time for me to actually put it on credit and pay do payments and whatnot. So we worked it out. He got my old MacBook Pro or my 15 inch MacBook Pro and I ended up getting the MacBook Air. Do you like Sour Patch Kids? Uh, yeah, who doesn't like Sour Patch Kids? Which do you like more, reviewing technology or painting? Um, this is a very hard question, guys, because I enjoy doing both so much. I don't think I can pick what I prefer, honestly. Like, I love drawing. I love technology. I love reviewing technology. In terms of what's easier for me, drawing. Obviously, drawing is easier for me. It's a strength of mine. When I edit videos and stuff for you guys to put up on my channel, it probably takes me anywhere from two to four hours to cut everything together the way I want it and to make it the way it is. And that's why when I get so irritated when right off the bat, like I just uploaded a video, like just fresh, right out of wherever it was. And I looked over it with a fine comb, made sure everything flowed properly. And there's a thumbs down already on my video. No reason. I have all good comments, but a thumbs down. And that's, it, it, it sucks, it really sucks. And I'm sure everybody across the board, it's not just me, feels that way. Um, there's been a lot of thumbs downs lately. And I think it's just people honestly just being arses and going around the internet and just doing it. Um, I don't think it's personally fair. If you don't like something, don't write down because it really, really affects us. It affects YouTubers, like big time. Because when you have thumbs ups, that puts you in a whole separate category you have more attention on your page when you have thumbs up because people like what you're putting out right so that actually helps a lot when you guys give me a little thumbs up no, do it right now do it right now if you haven't already but um it helps a lot and that's why it's aggravating but for me personally i enjoy both i really do like i love both but I would have to pick drawing because it's easier for me. It doesn't take me as long and it's easier to edit. I just plop everything in, put my intro wherever, my ending, and I'm good to go. Whereas with, uh, with the actual tech reviews, it takes a lot of time and a lot of planning. So that would be my answer on that one, I guess. Where do you live, like country or state? I live on Ontario, Canada. I'm very proud to be Canadian. I love Canada. It's a very beautiful place. So hopefully that answers you guys' question. I got a few questions about actually where I live. So guys, that about concludes my fourth Q&A. Please leave me comments with questions down below. I did not have a lot of questions this week and actually had to go looking for questions. So hopefully I have questions for next week. And until next time, guys, toodles.